welcome back to another episode of Tired Old Queen at the Movies. From all of us, to all of you, we hope you have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Now, let's go see Steve. Honey, oh, wow, great. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, we hadn't done a British movie in a long time, and I wanted to do one of my favorite love stories. 1946, David Lean's Brief Encounter, with a script by Noel Coward and Anthony Havelock Adams and Ronald Neem. Now, this is based on a Noel Coward play, short play called Still Life, which he had done as a series of one-act plays called Tonight at 8.30. And David Lean had already done with Noel Coward In Which We Serve and Blythe Spirit and a movie called This Happy Breed, which was about a London family during the war. We got our own way of setting things. Maybe a bit slow and it may be a bit down, but it suits us all right. And he wanted to do, he thought he wanted to do a costume picture. And old coward came to him and said, oh, no, 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 my boy, you don't know anything about costume pictures. You want to do this. Everybody in the street looked more cheerful than usual. And there was a barrel organ at the corner by Harris's. And you know how I love barrel organs. It was playing, let the great big world keep turning. And essentially what this is, is a love story between two really decent average people who just happened to meet in a train station. The movie opens with the two of them sitting together uh, having a cup of tea. And it's Trevor Howard and Celia Johnson, who is this wonderful, wonderful stage actress. And in comes this nosy old gossipy lady named Everly Gregg. And she goes, oh, my dear, darling, I'm so I'm so glad you're here, Laura. I never thought I was going to get that train. Oh, my God, it's been sort of a terrible day of shopping. I'll tell you all about that later in the train. Thank you so very much. There's your train. Yes, I know. Oh, aren't you coming with us? No, I go in the opposite direction. And you begin to realize that something's going on between the two of them and as the old magpie keeps talking and jabbing her ear off she has a flashback and you realize that this is the last time they're ever going to see each other and that they've fallen in love with each other and the story goes back i didn't think such violent things could happen to ordinary people she has gone off for a day her one day in town in the week and uh, she has caught something in her eye uh, oh no please it's only something in my eye Pulling your eyelid down as far as it'll go. And then blowing your nose. Please let me look. I happen to be a doctor. That's very kind of you. Oh, turn around to light, please. That's how it all began. Just through me getting a little piece of grit in my eye. He's taking a train going in the other way. He looks in her eye, helps her get it out, and they strike up a conversation. And gradually they laugh and they have get along so well that he says, Would you mind? Could we have lunch? She doesn't see anything wrong with that, so she has lunch. And this proceeds to develop into they go to the movies blind frustrated raging they take a boat ride and gradually she falls in love with him she has a great marriage she's been with her husband for a long time they have two children nothing like this ever would remotely happen and that's wonderful that they cast uh, Trevor Howard and Celia Johnson in these parts because they're not specifically gorgeous people. They're very average looking. Celia Johnson has these gigantic eyes. And you, we saw her earlier uh, in The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. She plays Miss Mackay. Is this what you're getting? Your set has learned under your auspices, Miss Brody. Their love affair grows. They're torn. He can't, he has to go away. She has to break it off. And they just can't. And it's all about little incidents that bring two people together and the things that have to eventually pull them apart. It's beautifully written. It's gorgeously acted. Uh, Joyce Carey uh, and Stanley Holloway have these little comic leads with the people who run the little concession stand at the train station and they're very cockney and fun. I wondered what had happened to you. I had a bit of a dust up. What about? Saw a chap going out of a first class compartment. When he came to give up his ticket it was only third class. I told him he had to pay the excess and then he turned not. But it's the sad-eyed Celia Johnson who won the New York Film Critics Award and was nominated for an Oscar for this that will break your heart. I'm the one that's funny. I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> Worrying myself about things that don't exist and making mountains out of molehills. I told you when you came in that it was nothing serious. There was nothing to get into such a state no, about. I do see that. No, I really do. <laughs> and I think you're going to love it. Trevor Howard, Celia Johnson... And David Lean and Noel Coward's Brief Encounter. Let's all go to the lobby. Lee Johnson goes, Oh, Tully, I wish you'd stop. I wish you'd shut up. I wish you'd die. No, I don't wish you'd die. I just wish you'd stop. Would you just stop? Would you in their mind? <laughs> Delicious. 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 Delicious.
religion.